If you like to fly fast, you've got a few potential ships to choose from in Star Citizen. But how do you choose what to buy? Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm Farrister, and in this video I showcase the four mainstream racing options in turn, and then compare and contrast them. Whilst there is some racing gameplay in Arena Commander, many of these ships also double up as high speed combat interceptors. We'll start by looking at the hyper manoeuvrable Origin M50, with its supercharged main engines. Next we'll look at the race car style Misk Razor, with its sleek aerodynamic angles. Then we'll examine the consolidated Outland Mustang Gamma, going big with its three main thrusters. And finally, the sleek lines of the Origin 350R, for going fast in comfort. So for this video we'll stick to those four core racers, although I'd give an honourable mention to some other ships that could easily have made the final cut, like the Kruger P-72, or for some of the other ultralight fighters. And on the subject of making the final cut, if you enjoy this kind of video, and if you're one of the three quarters of people watching who isn't yet subscribed to the channel, you may want to get subscribed, as I hope to do more of these Star Citizen ship comparison videos in the future, and you wouldn't want to miss that, right? So, before we dive into each of the ships, it's important to point out, I'm a fairly decent pilot, but I'm not a virtual Lewis Hamilton, so take my opinion with a pinch of salt. And as with many comparison questions, there'll be an element of subjectivity involved, so whilst I'll share some statistics and my thoughts, please treat them as so. With many of these ships performing closely to each other in raw speed and manoeuvrability, individual preferences will start to come into account, which is a good thing since it makes for variety in this wonderful game. Alright, that aside, let's look at our first racer. This is the Origin M50. Although it has clear racing lineage, the dual size 2 weapons and supporting missiles make it a great interceptor too. In terms of straight line speed, it falls a little shy of the Razor and 350R, but is incredibly competitive in handling, second only to the Razor. What makes the M50 particularly strong as a racer is how light it is. As the lightest of the four racers in the lineup today, that's a feature you'll really be able to feel when you fly around, with the M50 having an incredibly nimble feel to it. It feels responsive to changes in direction when compared with the heavier ships. And at 1.2 million Alpha UEC, it's one of the cheaper racing ships. The Misk Razor, with its Formula 1 stylings, is also a clear contender. It's faster than the M50 in a straight line, and turns slightly more quickly, with only a tiny bit extra in the weight category. It's similarly armed with dual size 2 weapons, and can also double up as an interceptor. At 1.75 million, it's the most expensive ship on the ticket today. On paper, it's the most manoeuvrable ship with close to the highest speed, but in reality the difference to the M50 is marginal, and so as ever, those personal preferences come into play. So, the consolidated Outland Mustang Gamma is a little off the pace compared to the thoroughbred racers. It has the lowest top speed, doesn't handle as well as either the M50 or the Razor, and is also considerably heavier than the two lightweights. It only carries two size 1 weapons, which also means it has less firepower than any of the other racers, limiting its utility as an interceptor somewhat in comparison. However, at 627,500 Alpha UEC, it is by far the cheapest option, with the M50 costing almost twice as much. And whilst the Mustang Gamma isn't quite as good on paper as the competition, it's fairly close to the wire, for half the money. And then there's the Origin 350R. 
Noticeably bigger than the other options, the 350R puts the entire emphasis on having big engines first, and then thinks about how to turn. That shows with the 350R having the highest top speed of any of our racers today, but also the lowest turn rates. Think of a muscle car in space, where turning is much more about pointing those powerful engines into your new chosen direction. The 350R brings much more utility to the party though. With three fixed size 3 weapons, plus bigger missiles, the 350R is a much heavier hitting interceptor, and that top speed making it well suited for chasing down the fastest of opponents. Not to mention the inclusion of an actual interior, a bed for logging out in, that panoramic origin roof, as well as four cargo units of storage in the belly. At 1.6 million Alpha UEC, it's not quite as expensive as the Razor, but is on the more expensive side. All of the ships covered off have some similar features. They all have a very slow quantum drive equipped, they all have competition grade gear as standard, although they're to varying degrees of quality, and whilst there are small trade-offs between speed and handling, they all have comparable performance. The difference largely comes down to you and how you plan to use your racing ship. If you're one of the type to fly in comfort and only use your racers for racing, then perhaps the M50 and Razor are more suitable, more readily able to fit in a cargo bay or hangar, and offering the absolute pinnacle of performance. If you're also interested in flying as an interceptor, probably discount the Mustang Gamma, which is a little lacking on the firepower front. And if you're looking for something more akin to a touring racer, maybe the 350R with its additional player utility would be a good choice. And if price is important to you, maybe the Mustang Gamma would be the obvious choice, coming in substantially cheaper than the other options. Personally, having flown all four, I'm drawn to the two Origin ships. The 350R is the more general purpose cruising platform, and the M50 as a high performance racing and snub fighter combination. That's largely due to the feel of each in the cockpit, which as ever is hard to describe. But which do you prefer? Would you like to see more of these comparison videos? Let me know in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, you might press that like button. Otherwise, as ever, thank you for watching.